You are listening to Hey, hey me, no, no Mind with show host Wood. All right, all right. It's the Pay Me No Mind show back in action for 2018. I've been away for a minute, but tonight I have a, uh, a, a, a one of my favorite guests, a very outspoken brother, and I just like his story. But we're talking to um, ranked everywhere at uh, 154, super welterweight, um, out of Chicago, but part of a recent move. Uh, we'll get into that, but uh, I want to welcome to the show Nathaniel Gallimore. How you doing, boss? I'm good. That's good. That's good. Hey, uh, before we get into some of the boxing, man, I do a lot of entertainment on the show, on my podcast, and... Uh, I just wanted to know, did you have a chance to check out the Showtime uh, series, uh, The Shy? Oh, yeah, I did. That's a pretty cool show. Did they, did they do right by the city, or uh, was there anything about the show that you didn't like? Being, uh, you know, a native of Chicago and everything. Mm, uh, not really. You know, uh, you know it's, it's, a, um, it's a show, so. You know, they're not going to touch all bases and stuff. So, you know, um, what they did, know, you know, what they did, but I really like, you know, um, the, uh, you know, the storyline. You know, it was a good storyline. You know, I messed with it. Okay. What what about the storyline stood out to you the most? Um, you know, because it really touched bases on the, uh, you know, the violence, you know, a little bit on the violence. And, you know, and, uh, you know, um, a little bit on the culture or whatever, you know, just how... How Chicago is, you know, how how the people then get down to Chicago, you know. So, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a little touch bases on the uh, on little things, you know, they did in the movie that I like. Okay, appreciate it. I, I I just I know I'm speaking to you tonight. I'm getting ready to talk to uh, Joshua Greer Jr. and everything, and I just. Uh, you know, obviously, you guys are, are uh, a big part of the uh, Chicago sports scene and everything. So I just wanted to get your input on how you thought the uh, the show played out this year. I did uh, enjoy it, uh, but I, nonetheless, uh, let's move on. Um, right now, you know, a, a former person that was in your uh, a former fighter that was at the top of your division. 154 pounds uh, recently, you know, is going through some issues right now with performance enhancing drugs and everything. That being one, um, Saul Canelo Alvarez, who's now up at uh, 160 and everything and has the big fight scheduled for May 5th. Uh, but right now he's going through this situation with, uh, you know, a, a failed drug test. And I'm looking on your site. I was looking you up on BoxRec, and I noticed that you weren't uh, VADA enrolled. Uh, I just wanted to know, you know, what's your concerns or thoughts on um, PEDs and possibly facing an opponent, you know, that's uh, on P uh, PEDs or, or using, you know, uh, banned substances? You know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm big on that. I don't really, I, I don't like that. That's, that's cheap. You know, the game, the game is already um, bad anyway. So, so just if you if you go cheap, that's going to make it even worse. You know, that's that's not right. And then those those fighters, they they're not really fighting. You know, if you're going to take some stuff to enhance enhance your body or or your performance, you know, you how old are you you're not a real fighter. You know, um, so you know, I'm not I'm not big on that. I'm I'm against it a hundred percent. me as a blue collar guy you know a no nonsense guy and everything and and somebody that wouldn't even think about going this route uh but is it a concern of yours in possibly you know facing a guy uh based on you know testing isn't universal in the sport is that a concern of yours going into any of these fights um you know that was a concern but you know but you know that really that's 
that really started me like that because you know um, by the end of the day, you know I know what I have to do, you know, and um, and and me and the, uh, me and that opponent gonna be in the ring, and you know when he's facing me, I'm, I'm a no knocker kind of guy. I don't I don't really you know um, I'm I'm going there to kill, you know. So I don't I don't care what he's taking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so you know, it's good you know, for for his confidence. He could feel, he could, he could feel a bit about uh, taking something, you know, in his confidence. But that's not gonna save him. Okay, that's. I was gonna phrase that question as uh, uh, at the end of the day answer from you, and of course, you know, you threw in the at the end of the day, so I didn't need to do that. Hey, um. Yeah. You had a big moment, you know, in 2017 with the the, the uh, surprising to some, you know, uh, kind of derailing what what uh, the Loach had going on, um, you know, at 154, and you knocking him out. I think it was in the fifth round or something. Uh, were you able to close out 2017 the way that you liked to, that you wanted to after that big knockout? Um. Yes. Um. You know. Uh... I I I had um uh, I had the offer to fight um um uh, Jay Pebble um um before before the the twenty seventeen had um went out, you know, but, but he took but he took another route by fighting um uh, uh you know, so you know, I, I would uh you know that would have made that would have made two thousand seventeen uh, the best year of my career but 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 things happen for a reason, you know, um this is two thousand eighteen, you know, my my first fight back um, you know, um, so it was supposed to happen and, um, in 2018, not 2017. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm fine. Okay. Um, so now you're based in training out of, uh, Los Angeles now, correct? Yes, LA. And, and under, uh, Buddy McGirt? No, my, my, uh, my uh, my primary coach is um John Pullman and um Buddy McGregor is uh his assistant so uh, my camp. Okay, okay. Just wanted to clarify that. So you know what you can share with us. Um, you know the I, the the broke team was one of my favorite stories that I kind of came across and was following the growth of you guys or the or the uh the rise of you guys as far as you Joshua Greer. And uh, even um, you know the the run that uh, Adrian Granados had in 2017. Um, what happened? You know that that caused you to split ways. You and Josh Greer actually. And like I said, I'll talk to him tomorrow. But you know what what forced you guys to 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 re to, to reexamine things and move on from Coach George Hernandez Hernandez, who you guys seem to have such a phenomenal bond with. No, I don't want to, um, you know, um, you know, um, uh, we depart, you know, um, um, you know, I wish them the best, you know, but, but I have to, I have to step up because it's my career. So, um, you know, I, I you know, I, I left that here in the hole and plus the, um, the broke team, you know, I, I, um, had to step up myself on the broke team because, you know, everybody want to come to Jimmy Carter's stuff the broke team and everybody is not like me and Josh, so. So we came up with a hungry boy. So because in this game you can't be comfortable. You know you can't get too satisfied because I'm not satisfied. You know what I'm saying? For for if I I'm uh, keep on having goals and goals and goals. You know it's 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 not an end to my success. So we we call ourselves the hungry boys because you know um, the level that we're going on right now and and uh, and the things that's happening right now. You know we have to be hungry. You know we have to be more hungry than our opponents and more hungry than everybody to get what we need to get. So that's why you know, we changed our name with a with a new with a new hunger word. You know, we knew and we hungry. So you know, that's why we came with the name the hungry word. So it's just me and Josh Gray right now, the hungry word. Okay. Um now, um the big fight is coming up. Actually like I said it's one of my favorite fights I'm more, almost more excited about this fight than most of the fights that I heard uh, laid out back in at the beginning of the year when Showtime had the big thing in New York City where they named all of the fights and uh, 
you know, this matchup is right up there for me because I'm a huge fan of super uh, the super welterweight division. But walk us through when you get the call and Julian Williams is the is the opponent. Jay Pebbles, you know, um, he is, you know, uh, you know, his name. His name is Jay Pebbles. It's not no Julian for me. You know, I don't, uh, I don't know no guys like that. Uh, the only guy I know is Jay Pebbles. So. You know, um, I knew this call was going to come. You know, it was a matter of time. You know, I was, I was preparing, I was, I was preparing, and I was, and I was braced for this call because you know this call was eventually was going to happen. So when the call happened, you know, we know, we know what to expect, we know what to bring to the table because you never face any anybody like me. You know, I'm, I'm a different type of fighter. So he's going to think, yeah, I'm going to come in here and do the same. Not trust I'm a totally, I'm a totally different fighter. So. You know, and I'm and I'm hungry, and I'm and, and I'm fish. You know, and I don't and I don't know not this guy, and I don't play around with nobody. So, you know, I'm just I'm just excited for um for this fight to happen because I know what I'm gonna present to the world. The world don't know my name. Impossible. Now, uh, Julian, you know he's he, he's been stopped before. Um, you know, in the the big the big. Uh, uh, fifth round stoppage, I think, against Jamal before he moved up to middleweight. Uh, but he's come back against two opponents, one stoppage, and then I think he got a decision over Ishe Smith. Um, I know, you know, the, the the obvious thing is that he presents no problems for you, but you know, you have to have a level of respect for every opponent. Um, is there any, you know, what's the the stronger parts of uh of uh J Rock's game, in your opinion? I don't have no respect for none of my opponents. None at all. Tell you the truth. I don't care what they bring to the table. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't care. That's, that, that's me. I, 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 they, don't, they don't get no props for me. None at all. None. None of the crumbs. I don't give them nothing. You know, and, uh, and, 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 and those fighters, and, and, those, and those two fights that he fought coming back. That, that guy didn't fight for uh, 14 months, that dead guy, and uh, was scared of him, you know what I'm saying, all, all overweight and everything. And, and he shakes me, a 39-year-old, old he shakes me. Come on, man, like, really? You know, they're going to compare those fights to talking about he fought somebody? Come on, man, get yeah, yeah. You know, those are, yeah, I, I, you don't get no respect for me, none at all. Okay, so uh, I had the feeling that, you know, this isn't, Kind of like the Deloach fight, this really isn't shaping up to be a, a boxing match. It seems like this is going to be another just punishing, uh, you know, I, I, I can't see it going the distance. So, uh, what's the fight plan? The fight plan is, is what I bring on April 7th, where the whole world going to know. You know, I, I, right, now, right now, we have we have something special cooking up. And, you know, um, when you see me fight night, you going to the fight plan. You know what I'm saying? I, I, the fight plan going to present itself on fight night. Gotcha. Um, what's it mean to you? You know, last last year we talked, um, you know, you just come off the big victory and everything. Uh, you know, Arrow was trending upwards. It still is. But uh, what's it mean for you now to be a participant in kind of what's uh, becoming an unofficial Super welterweight tournament. If you listen to Stephen Espinosa, you know it, it's kind of a unofficial thing that Showtime is putting together. What's that mean to you? You know, for yourself and your career. Right now, you know, I'm, uh, you know, that could, uh, I could, I could think about that later. But right now, uh, my team and me, I'm focused on um, April seventh. Right now, what I have to go do damage to Jay Pebble. You know, if, if nothing else on my mind. Just, just, just April seventh. What I'm going to do to uh, Jacob? Nothing else. I'm, I'm thinking about. I'm not worried about nothing else. Then April seventh. Okay. Uh, with that being said, is there uh, also you know at the end of that night, headlining that night is the Laura Heard uh, rematch. I mean, uh, the Laura Heard uh, unification fight. Um, 
any thoughts on uh, you know who you see emerging in the winter between that one? And I ask because you know you guys are this is the IBF uh, eliminator and law and uh, herd holds that belt. Uh, how do you see that one playing out? And it's the same division, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't really dwell on what, you know, any, um, any one of them, um, win, you know, that's the one I'm going to speak on after my win. So, you know, I hope they, uh, I hope they go in there and do a little dance and, uh, you know, enjoy the night, you know, because, you know, uh, do their thing, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not going to comment on that because, you know, that's none of my business right now, you know, because we're in the same, um, we're in the same weight class and, and after after I take care of Jay um Jay Pepper, you know, I will I will have a lot of things to say about that fight. Or or the opponent who I'm gonna fight next. Alright. Do you see any Oh, no, only two more questions, but do you see any uh, similarities between yourself and and uh, Jared Hurd? Uh, in a way, you guys are kind of the pressure guys in the division. You know, always coming forward, stalking. I mean, I really haven't seen you uh, defensively or, or take, you know, uh, taking the shots that I've seen Hurd take, but uh, he seemed to have the easier or the, the easier route towards superstardom based on, you know, some of his affiliations with the PBC and Al Heyman and whatnot, you coming out of the Midwest, uh, is that something that's kind of fueling your uh, rage against some of the other guys in the division is because you got to earn this thing a different route, you know, than the other players in the division? Yeah, amen to that because, you know, since I, since I came on, since I came out of my mom's womb, you know, I was I was on the dog. So people never really given me that chance and opportunity. You know, I had to fight for my life and I had to fight for a lot of things, you know, uh, until now. So this is nothing different, you know. It's, it's, it's nothing that I'm going to take off my table because, you know, I, I had to fight, you know, I had to fight for all my life. So this is nothing new. So, um, you know, Jerry Hurt. Um, similarity, um, you know, I don't really, yeah, when I was, yeah, uh, hands up going forward, but, you know, he, he's nothing like me, you know, um, uh, he don't have the heart that I have, he don't have the mind that I have, and he don't have the power that I have, so, you know, me and him don't have no similarity like that, you know, um, probably, you know, holding our hands up and going forward, that's the only, that's the only thing, but other than that, I don't see nothing. Okay, uh, final question, um, I kind of don't know where I am between these two guys either uh, on fight night. Uh, I do like Hurd a little better as a a future, you know, moving down the road. But um, anyway, um, like I said, with this being the IBF mandatory and uh, I mean a a fight for an eliminator to become the mandatory to uh, Hurd's uh, IBF belt. Um... How does a Lara win affect, you know, what you're working towards, and that's becoming a world champion? It doesn't really matter who wins that belt, because who wins that belt, I'm still going to be a world champion. It doesn't, it's nothing what they could do or, or alter my, my destiny. My destiny is to become a world champion in um, 2018. So I don't, I don't, it doesn't really matter who won. So that's not going to deter me from getting what I need to get from any one of them. So, you know, I'm not worried. Okay. Now, uh, last time we spoke, you know, Gache, I uh, asked you about your thoughts on Gache uh, getting that fight, and you were kind of spot on with how that fight would come out or the outcome of that fight. But uh, Gache and his people, however it came to be, you know, they were able to get that fight with Laura. If uh, Laura does hold that IBF belt at the end of the night, uh, do you th- are you confident that uh, you know your team can get that fight made for you to uh, face uh, Iris Larry Iris Landry uh, Lara? Yeah, totally. Because um, I'll be um, um, I'll be the mentor, so they don't have to get in the ring. They don't have to give it to me. It's no, it's no, it's no if and but about that. You know, they don't have to give me that. You know, so or 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 pay me. You know, they don't have to give me that. It's a, it's a mandatory. You have to give me what. It's mine. Gotcha. And, and I just asked because I know right now, uh, you know, Regis Progray, 
you know, did took care of his business, and and now they're giving him the run around about trying to face uh, Ramirez, you know, for um, the 140 title and everything. So I just wonder, you know, were you confident in uh, things working out in your favor? Uh, what if I know a guy who's ahead of you in some of the rankings uh, in some of the organizations is a Kanat Islam? Would that be a uh, you know, a fight that you pursued, or, or what would be next for you after April 7th? Sure. Um, you know, on the world would know. You know, right now I'm focusing on, you know, I'm focusing on April 7th, Jay Pebble. <laughs> you know, that's, just, that's the only fight I'm focusing on right now. You know, I, I told him, you know, I gave him, this is, this is the thing, you know, I gave, I gave the world um, the blueprint. You know, I gave them the blueprint about um, how to work on his chin, you know, how to do them chin push-ups, you know, so, you know, I told the world that, you know, he's going to have to, after the, um, after the press conference, he's going to have to go to his hotel, you know, I bring one of his guys and they hold his legs and he's going to go and start uh, working on his chin because I'm telling you, when I touch that chin, hey, it's over. <laughs> it doesn't really matter where I touch it anyway. I could touch you on your arm, you know, you're going to be on your cheek anywhere. You know, it's going to be total domination. I'm, 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 you know, I'm coming here to kill. You know, there's nothing to it. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, last time we spoke, you know, we were talking on the, and this is the last question, so I can let you get out of here. But last time we spoke, you know, you you were getting ready to face uh, Justin Deloach. And uh, it was a lot of backstory there on how things kind of escalated between you guys. Uh, is there anything going on here behind the scenes? Or, or you know, how did this become... Uh, you know, as, as turned up as it is, and I, I see a lot of the social media interaction and everything, is there any, You like I said, you told me the story on how uh, the loach kind of crossed you. Has there been any back and forth between you and Williams that uh, J-Rock or J-Pebbles, as you referred to him, is there anything that we don't know about? Um, no, and, um, he didn't he did, um, reply um, on the interview how, um, how he's going to take me to uh, deep waters and uh, and um, he don't care who I'm training with now and whatever because uh, none of it is not gonna be in the ring with him or whatever with me or whatever. But but I'm not. He just he just sneak this in, you know, on the low. You know, he don't really come out. He don't really come out and say anything. But I already sneak this in by telling people whatever what he's gonna do to you or whatever. But listen, he's a really he's a he's a corny guy. He's corny and plus he's uh, you know he, he's a, he's not. You know, um, when he fought, when he fought, um, Charlo, he had the whole world to say. He had the whole, he had everything to say. And, uh, you know, he was calling him turkey and, and how he gonna do this and how he gonna do this. And then, oh, he got knocked out. And then his whole year they changed. Wow. So that means that you was that person who you made out, or you made everybody think that you, you were, you, he wasn't that person. So... That's why I know he, he's not who he say he is. He's not. He's a fake, you know, and he's a phony, you know, and he just talk a tough game uh, in front of the camera. But when the lights come on and everything come on, it's game time, baby, and I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And there's no way to run. I told him. You know, the uh, the only way you're going to escape me is by running out the ring on your face, on your back, or doing tap dance, or whatever you stop the fight. There's no way to escape, escape me, man. You ain't going nowhere, trust me. But Troy Brown, you think, you think he go, um, he go dance and move around and I'm not going to get you? And I was waiting up for the walk of people. Come on, man. Like, you don't understand, man. They, they wasn't to hold me and they think that's how I'm going to present myself in the ring. Trust me. I'm telling you, I got something special cooking up. The Jay Pebbles, man. Got you. Hey, I appreciate your time, man. Like I I said this is a phenomenal fight in my opinion uh you know i'm tuning in that night and uh you know i wish you the best and uh you know i hope to talk to you on the other side nah, man, for real man appreciate it all right thanks boss uh I, i'll text you uh you know my email so you can send me those pictures and uh, i'll get this up as soon as i can all right well what's your, uh, what's your picture you want like uh my pictures and stuff uh, just anything that you want, anything that you would want to be out there for you. Uh, you know, I usually have like one featured image, you know, as the main image for people to click on. So, you know, if that's an action shot or uh, you getting your hand raised or whatever, uh, just let me. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that's your question. You ask and 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 you ask